Hello guys, my name is Bob. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the mean and standard deviation using the Casio FX 570MS calculator. Alright, so the first thing we do, we must have an example. So let's say we have an example in which this example has six values. Alright, so the six values are five, 12.5, 7, 6, 8, and 9.3. And you are asked to calculate the following, not just the standard deviation and the mean, but also you are asked to calculate the sum of squares, okay, of all these values. And the sum of all these values, and the sample size, the sample mean, the population standard deviation and the sample standard deviation. So first thing first, to perform this calculation, we have to switch the mode of the calculator. So to switch the mode of the calculator, calculator we press mode twice and then you see SD, okay, select number one. And then the calculator will switch to the standard deviation mode or the statistic mode. The next thing we do is to key in the values. So how do we key in the values? Basically, we start by keying in the value first. So the first value is 5. And then we press this big N plus button. So when we press this button, the values will be inputted into the calculator. And then we do the same for the other five values, right? So this is the second value, this is the third value, and then this is the fourth value, and this is the fifth value, and last but not least, this is the sixth value, right? Okay, so now we have in inputted all the values into the calculator. We now can calculate the sum of squares of all these values, the sum of all these values, as well as the sample size. So to calculate these three components, basically we need to do is to click shift, and then we click this S hyphen S U M. All right, we click this button, which is the number one button, and then we are given the choice of what to compute. So let's say we want to compute the sum of squares, we just click on number one. All right, so the sum of squares is actually 416.74. Right? To do so for the sum of the values, we just do the same thing. We click shift and then this button number one. And then to find the sum of the value, we just click number two. All right. And then we can actually get the values, which is 47.8. To find the sample size, which is denoted by N, we just click on shift. Okay, button number one and N, which is the sample size, we click on three and then click equals and that will be the sample size. To calculate the sample mean, the population standard deviation and the sample standard deviation, what we can do is to click on, all right, we click on shift and this button which represents the S hyphen VAR, we press number two, it brings us to the option to calculate either the sample mean or the population standard deviation or the sample standard deviation. All right, we just press one, all right, the sample mean, and then we can calculate the sample mean, which is 7.97. To calculate the standard deviation, all right, either the population or the sample standard deviation, we just click shift two, 
This is the population standard variation. To calculate it, we just press 2. And then here will be the value of the population standard deviation. Last but not least, in order to calculate the sample standard deviation, we do the same thing by clicking Shift 2. And our sample standard deviation is actually choice number 3. So we click on this number 3. And this gives us the sample standard deviation. All right. So there's actually a difference between these two. A population standard deviation and the sample standard deviation. All right. To calculate, let's say for example, if you wish to calculate the sum, the sum of squares of values plus the sum of the values. How do we go about doing it? Well, basically, you can actually do it by going to shift press 1, include this term, sum of squares of values, all right, plus shift 1, and then include this sum of values. And this will give you the addition of the sum of squares of values and the sum of values. So that will be 464.54. You can actually verify this answer by adding these two numbers. All right. So what I'm trying to prove here is that you can actually use the calculator to input the sum of squares of the terms and the sum of the values. All right. So you can actually do it for... Let's say if you want to take the sum of squares, multiply by the sum of the values. So how do we go about doing it? Same thing, we press shift, we press 1, and then we include this term, all right, times, we press shift, we press 1, and we could include this term, which is number 2, that gives us, okay, 1992.172. Okay, to verify this, you just need to take this, multiply by this, so that will be 416.74 times 47.8. You will get the same value. Alright, so here is, I conclude, okay, the using of the Casio FX 570MS calculator to calculate not only just the mean and standard deviation, but also to calculate the sum of squares, the sum of the values, the sample size, the sample mean, the population standard deviation, and the sample standard deviation. They realize that the population standard deviation and the sample standard deviation are two different values in which you need to take note of, okay, due to the uh, theory of statistics, this too should be different. I hope this helps you to use your calculator to perform um, statistical questions to find out the mean and the standard deviation. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you liked uh, this video and I hope this video helps you to solve the problems. If you do like this video, press the like button, alright, and if you uh, wish to subscribe for more of this content, all right, do subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.